All right, guys, today is Sunday, and there's no better day of the week for an eviction notice. And that's what I'm going to try to issue to this Fafenhain Abus. This is a Bravus. Here's where the security card looks like came in this box, but you don't care about the box. You care about the lock and probably care about the key. And this is why he's been living rent-free in my naughty bucket for so long. This guy is just evil looking. We are, if you look closely, obviously it can go in either way. So we're looking at two rows of pins. So on one row of pins, you have this side and on opposing it on the other side, another row of pins. And then of course on the side, I don't know how many of you guys saw that, but we also have a side slider to deal with. So pretty nasty looking. If that's not bad enough, this is truly a Pfaffenhain keyway. Look how sharp the teeth in there are. I would not put any one of my appendages inside of there. Probably going to get ripped off, but we're going to have to give it a shot. We want this guy out of the naughty bucket like today. So only a half cylinder, and this is how he came to me. All right, let me go ahead and figure out how to clamp him up because he's not a full length. i got to figure out how to put him in the vise, and we'll see if we can't pick this guy. All right, I had to take the rubber bumpers off of the vise in order to clamp this thing up. It looks like it's going to work. I am going to use this. as This is the largest tensioner I have. Pretty wide on the left side, but they give that to you because there's nothing to do over there. Um, I did run into some trouble with picks. I grabbed my default uh, pick from the Sauber kit, and this is the small flag. And immediately, as soon as I inserted him past pin 2, he got stuck, and it took me five minutes to dig him out of there. So the next one I grabbed, also from the Sauber kit, is the large flag. And it's about two or three times the size. I've never used him for anything before, but he does slide in kind of without getting too caught up. The warding is quite nasty, but uh, it is what we got, so we'll just deal with it. All right, I am going to use, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And hopefully, it, it is quite vocal because there's no rubber padding on the side of the vise. So it should pick up pretty much everything. Uh, I've got bottom pins, top pins, and then the sliders are on the right. I'm going to push the back edge into those sliders. And while I'm picking it, what I'm hoping is that it will manipulate a couple of them. I'm, I have no idea if that will work, but <laughs> that's my plan. All right, so here we go. Moderate tension, slide it in there, and let's find a binder. And it feels like pin five, maybe. Oop. Maybe not. Let me make sure I'm not bound up on the side of the lock. There we go. That seems to be good. Don't tell me nobody's binding. That would tell me I need to pick the sliders first. Get in there. All right, there's five. I don't know if it's upper or lower, but... Uh, get nothing. Get on there. All right, I'm lightening up on my tension. Maybe moderate is too much. Okay, that was the... Pin 5 upper pin. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. That was, I got a little turn in the core. I must have bumped either bottom pin, pin 5, or one of the two fours. Now I'm on the back of what feels like pin 3. Okay, he let me by. That was pin two, lower pin. I'm now on pin, feels like pin one, lower pin. Get in there. I did have a click on that. I'm stuck on pin five. 
It's right up against it. Must be, I'm pretty sure we got the top one. This must be the bottom one. Get in there. Okay, we got by him, but I'm not sure we it got us anything. I might have overset him. Okay, that was pin four, bottom pin. Again, I'm caught up on pin five. It won't let me go any further, so there we go. Got a little turn on the core there, so we might be hung up on the side pin. Come out of there. Come out of there. Uh, it must be about pin three. I'm on the back side of him. He's now the binder. Let me see if I can figure out if it's a top pin. If he's like the bottom pin, if I can get around him. Come on. I'm going to lighten up on my tension. We do a fault set, but i got a feeling I'm going to have to give it up to get by him. There we go. Okay, that was pin two, and now I'm stuck again on pin two. Come out of there. I am getting a little counter rotation there on pin two. I'm getting a good amount of, pan of counter rotation. He's probably a spool. Oh, I got by him. Let's put it, try to attack him from the front. And there we go, evicted from the naughty bucket on a Sunday. How easy was that? All right, let me back out of here. This one I do want credit for. So, come out, come out, come out. There we go. All right, we have an open on the Bravas. Yeah, man. We're all the way up. Let me un un loosen this thing up. Keep him in frame. All right, put him right there. Let's get a pinning board over here. And now we got to figure out how to open him up. All right, how does this work? There are no screws. That is not, oh, it's a detent. All right, I can do that. I don't know if it's going to get us anything, but... Uh, that just may, may be to adjust the angle of the actuator. I don't know. Yeah, that's all that was for. Crap. Okay, there is there is a C-clip right here. All right, let me get my pretty board out of there before we scar it up. Let's try that. All right, that is definitely where we want to go. I just need to find a proper tool to get in there. That is not it. Crap, crap, crap. We may have to go with it, guys. This is where you get to see Bill drive a punch right through his finger. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that almost looked, well, not quite professional. This is, after all, just a lock line. Oh! <laughs> Damn it, I can't believe that happened. Come on. All right, we are back. I no longer get credit. I just had a Chinese battery failure. These Chinese batteries really only last about 20 minutes. All right, we do have the C-clip off. Now let's see what we got to do. That core will probably come out of there. My worry is when I pull them out, all the pins are going to spring out of there, though. Um, perhaps. Let me try something. Since we took that C-click off, maybe the back of this will just come out. Maybe if I push that detent down and pull on that. Again, we need that third hand. No.
There must be a secret to it. There's got to be. That has to come out of there. For real. There it is. Okay, there went that spring-loaded doodad. Luckily, we don't need that stinking thing. All right, now I can get a follower in there. So let's take the, pin, the key. Okay, so we're, all the pins are gonna be rotated left, right, and on the bottom. So I really need to turn them about like that. And I think that will give us what we want. Is that the right size? No, that's the right size. All right, guys, here we go, here we go. All right, I've already had one pin fall out the bottom. So I'm gonna set him, he's pin one. And he, all right, we're gonna have some spring out right there too. So I'm just gonna take my finger and let it ride right out of there. All right, let's take it like this first. I don't feel any spring tension on those pins. Okay, that's the one that fell out. So let's get him first. My other finger is going to hold in the sidebar. So let's dump these guys out. We do have sidebar sliders right here. And you know what? Let me flip it over. There you go. Those are the top pins. Yep, those are the top pins. Let's get those first. <laughs> you really do need like some help around this place. Two, three, and 11. I don't know what that guy in the back there does. No clue. We'll get, we'll worry about him. He doesn't appear to be springing out on his own. So I'm not going to worry about him right now. Let's flip it over like so. And pull these guys out. The sidebar shouldn't go anywhere until I pull the key out, so I'm not going to be stupid enough to do that. I'm going to be stupid in other ways. I'm just going to dump these pins. There's pin one. So let me get the tray arranged here. All right, pin two. Did not expect to get him open. Really didn't. Okay. I am about ready to pull these guys out. Okay, I'm going to pull the key out. We're good everywhere. We got some springs over there. I think I got those. I'm going to pull the key out. We're going to start taking the sliders out from the rear. So when I pull the key out, that last one should pop up. If he's got a spring, he doesn't have a spring. No springs. All right, let's dump these guys. So that would be the last one would be five here. I can see you peeking. Ah. Need some really fine tweezers. And you know what? I probably have a set. And of course it would be in the last drawer that I look in. Where'd you go? I use these to pull ear hairs out with. There we go. He was kind of jammed in there. Same with this guy, real tight. Number four, or actually number two. I 
they slide in there? There's no spring in there at all. These are just strictly gravity. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, there are all six pins, five sidebar pins. And then we had the bottom pins. And I don't know. He doesn't appear like he's going to come out of there. He might be a key stop. And these guys also seem to be pressed in. This must be anti-drill. we got an anti-drill rod going through the back. If we can get the camera to focus right there. Look at that warding. My God. All right. Well, we got them open. The Bravas. Uh, let's take a look at the upper pins. Let me move all these guys out of the way so we get these upper pins out. Got so many pins, man. I thought we were done. All right, we have a huge steel standard. Just gonna take the spring and set them up there. They're probably all gonna be the same. Okay, here is the upper pin on the right there. So I'm gonna slide and see what he does. Of course, he's gonna be hard to get out just like his brother. We got a spool. We knew there was one of those in there somewhere. And then his spring. And then his side pin. All right, pin three. Big steel pin. And get him out of the way. And then his side pin. Numero cuatro, another spool. Side pin. Fump. Aha. Abus. Remember Abus. They love these. Oh. And so do I. these guys out of the way. All right, we are looking for the side pin for number five. Zix and another one of these lovely little things. Nice. Very nice. And And that is it. A no side pin past number six. Should have known that because we didn't have one of these guys for number six. All right, guys. This is what we're looking at. There's, there's a whole factory's worth of pins here. Uh, luckily, no threading or anything in the Bible. And no threading or anything in there. All of these side pin springs, I believe, are still in. Let me do a little dump here, show you what they look like. Little, little guys, put them over here so I can get this thing back together. What a nasty little thing. Um, notice we got a groove down the side for the sidebar. So this is uh, preventing us from turning if we didn't get those side pins picked. So that is what that's all about. Anyway, there you go, guys. The Bravas finally evicted from the lock lab. Thanks for your time and your patience. Stay safe, guys. Stay legal. I need some help around here to put this thing back together.